right, please. When we talk about facility management, we have some scenarios which are totally changing. Uh, the previous one, please. Thank you. We have some uh, scenarios which are changing. In the last eight months, I've been uh, given lectures uh, in Madrid in September. I've been in Asia, Europe, Latin America, North America, and I've been giving speeches in very different uh, markets. Depending on the market and where we talk about facility management, discipline is understood differently. The profession is understood in a different way from different angles. A clear example, when I was given the lecture in the FAM conference in Asia, in the, in the lecturers, 80% of the lecturers they were from the government. So I was surprised by seeing so many people from the government. They explained to us, no, if the government is not involved, forget about it. There's nothing going on. Nevertheless, when you are in other countries in Latin America, you have a 50-50 situation. And for example, in Spain, my country is the opposite. It's, it's pretty w strange to find people from the government involved. Well, the government is one of the uh, greater proprietors and owners of, uh, of facilities. So the market's giving you some clues on where you should go if you want to generate that, uh, uh, that awareness of what's what facility managing management is about. If I found something in the market is a need, basic need, to sell to sell what facility management is about. We need to sell that idea. Market, peop, market people, they don't know what facility manager, yeah, management is about. So the problem that we have in our discipline, our, in facility management, are so many things. And we could see that from different angles. So it's extremely complicated to, to tell it, to tell it's a standard story that everyone would understand. I think, I don't know if I've shared with you some time, some examples of aspects that could be related to facility management, and we talk about energy, power, okay, we talk about that as part of the FM. The concept and the orientation is, uh, is so distinct, different, depending on the country the in the northern Europe is different, the concept is different, but when we talk about in Africa, so the concept of power management is different. No, please, let us not let the not power go off. No, they don't want. They don't want. They don't thinking about saving. They just uh, concern about power going off and not being able to produce. So, so the, the perception is different depending on the country. When we want to sell facility management, we have some difficulties. Due to the extension of what uh, what it encompasses, um, because it is so common as well. Who has not seen stone? Who hasn't seen stone? All of you have, right? You have sometimes kicked a stone. Sometimes we have thrown a stone at someone. At the greater uh, assertion, uh, so we all have thrown uh, a stone to jump over the water. So stone is something common, something that we all have. We can't listen. I missed the um, the uh, microphone. Okay, now uh, something about facility management. All companies have someone, a department, a unit uh, supporting them. More or less, they're just pretty well professional with the name you want to give it. But there is not a company who does not have someone in charge of helping them with the basic services. The stones are always there. In any organization, there is something, there is a seed of facility management. It's not called facility management. It's That's right. It, we, are, it, we don't identify it as facility management. Okay. But that stone is there. And we cannot uh, ignore it. If we evolve, and uh, those stones that we have in any place, uh, any color or shape, we start classifying them, and we say, okay, this is uh, lime, this is uh, this is marble, and this is such, and this is a rock, 
and we classify them. I start seeing that each stone has certain uh, properties and characteristics, features. We have stronger stones, more resistant stones. One, they have more porosities. They have uh, stones you could model, others you cannot. These stones that are within the organizations have different styles and different capacities, and uh, they require different things from them. In that variety of uh, supply, if I organize them, I have an order I could define what's the purpose and function of each one of them and each type of them. And I know there are stones I cannot get them wet because they're going to die out. But uh, there are some stones with which I can build s complex structures, but there's still stones. If I identify what I can do with those stones, I organize them. I have put them one on top of the other, I give them a certain shape, uh, which is coherent. Those stones are going to allow me to construct something, and they could become a wall, for example, but they're stones. They're stones. Of course, we've modified them, but they're still stones. We've given them a shape, they're, they're still stones. And we've uh, put them together, but they're still stones. Uh, those are the stones that we kick in the street. Those are the stones that we, that we find everywhere. But if to those stones, I not only do I find an application for them, but I also uh, give them some time, I could uh, construct very beautiful things. This is a stone, right? It's a stone to which they devoted sometimes like 12 years. Each statue from Pasqua Island, it's about 12 years work, working what with? With another stone and probably a tool. They didn't have uh, 3D printers or plotters. And what stone, big stone, they managed to build this. And that stone that used to be a uh, wall, now it's art, but it's the same stone. We're talking about facility management. Facility management, that stone is there everywhere. We can make it, make it evolve. We could adapt it to what we want. Obviously, to do this, I don't need a stone. I am cutting a piece of mountain, and I'm taking it out of the mountain. That's how they built the heads. But if I define that those stones could uh, meet certain, a greater need, I could manage to construct structures that are pretty much complex, that are good to support something. And we're talking about support. Facility management, it's a support unit, and never, we cannot forget that, that facility management is there to provide support to organizations. Support what? What do we want to give? You name it. What's going to be on top? I don't know. Perhaps a, a bridge, a building, uh, but they are supporting uh, the activity of that organization to which they serve. So how many columns are missing there? I don't know. What's the size of the columns? I'm not sure yet. But that depends on what you're defining of what you want. But there's stones still. Cut, yes. Uh, one on top of the other side line, yes. There's still stones. So the use, uh, using them in a way which is oriented towards meeting a need, it's, it's turning that stone into something that's useful. But if apart from that, that which is useful, it's uh, required, it's necessary, I turn, that in, I turn that into a need, something that needs to be there. If I have pretty much uh, uh, many heads in uh, Pasqua Island, it would, uh, it would impact. But if I have a, sto a bridge which, are, which is made of stones, I could not uh, do that, so I, could, I need to adapt that. Perhaps I won't be able to cross the river if I don't have the bridge, and so on. So they need to meet a need, but there's still stones. Stones to which we have uh, adapted a calculation, calculated the angle, the strength of the central stone, so the milestones that we have been constructed around it is structured, but there's still stones. And if we want to raise this to a, a maximum exposition of exponent of, 
uh, we would say, okay, okay, we have the luxury, which would lead us. Is it necessary to have this quality? No, but still there. But uh, this is made of stone. What I do with that stone that I find on the way depends on the type of stone it is, the type of need that I want to meet with those stones, and if I can or not, but the size they need, how I should gather them. All that, I do that with basic tools. These are basic tools. All, the, all those you've seen has been made with this tools we have that you have here. When we talk about facility management and facility management, we have not invented the nuclear bomb. It's not rocket science. We use methodologies that are very simple. We talk about service levels, metrics, models. Okay, but we need to differentiate what's a management model and administrative model. It has its own tricks. You cannot simply go there and hit on the stone because you're, no, you're not going to get the, the same results. There are still stones. The facility management is there. The facility management is telling you, hey, you, your stones, could we turn it with the uh, good tools, could we turn it into something that's able to provide a good service to the organization? When we are selling facility management, we need to be aware of the fact that all companies have stones. Some prettier, some uglier, bigger, stronger, so we're going to work with them. We're going to tell those stones, hey, what is it that you want us to do? What could we sell? What, what could be the uh, contribution? Our stone, our facility management, could um, contribute many things to the organization. If we tell the organization that stone that you see there isolated in your organization with greater or lower or lesser definition is the element you use to support. Whatever the market, Asia, Europe, America, so the tools that I use to model them are going to be different. And the way that I use to explain that to the organization, what do we need to use facility management in the organization is going to condition what is it that we're going to build with those stones. It is important to understand the scope, what is, it that it, what is everything you can do with that stone. We've seen that in one stone you can do, you can have a structure, you could support something, you could produce art, luxury, something that's required and need. A bridge is not luxury, but, but it's something basic. Of course, it's solid, it's strong, a bridge would not fall, but it's beautiful. It's not beautiful. What's its function? To go from one side to the other, one border to the other. And I put my stones there so that they could support, stand the, the weight. No, it's not beautiful, it's not uh, aesthetic. No, but it's a bridge. It does not necessarily have to be beautiful, but it's designed to support. A cathedral would perhaps uh, support some weight, but uh, it's beautiful, but uh, it's the objective is different. It is key to align ourselves with the strategies of the organizations. We are a support department. If my organization wants quality, luxury, and if they want excellence, okay, I could provide that. If, my, if they want to reduce cost, optimization, flexibility, and so on, we can provide that. But all of them are stones. My facility management, my facility management activity are stones. And I would translate that into people, individuals and professionals, who are people who, if working together, are going to be able to turn that need of my organization in, what, in that, that I want, in a bridge, ugly bridge, but it's uh, very strong, sturdy, in a totem, okay, in a nice column. No, I don't want beautiful columns, I want basic round columns that can support the weight. I will do whatever you want. If facility management is telling us everything that I offer you, you have to order. And the first level of knowledge is to know what is it that I have inside of these possibilities. If I have a stone on the table, what will you do with this? Of course, you could say, okay, I will throw it at you. But if I present you uh, an array of possibilities, if I have one stone, you could do this or that or that or that or this. What, is it you, what, what do you want? So you start thinking about it. Okay. Yeah, what if we do this, if you cut into pieces and you hit it, I could make a hatchet with this? Okay. Okay. What happens if you um, sand it with a paper? So, 
So we need to tell the organizations what is it that we can do, what can be done. One of the elements that is least associated with facility management is the real estate issues, but it's not real estate. It's a corporate real estate. Yesterday I had a meeting with the small uh, partnership, so we need to make a difference between what's corporate real estate and real estate. I use this to open the door to everything that uh, facility manage management is about. We have two big problems with sale facility management. The first problem is that what we do in facility management, it's already there. It's out there. Organizations have been receiving services uh, all uh, throughout their lives. We, they've had stones all the time. Companies have models which are pretty much complex, but all of them, from many years since the organization was born, they have someone who supports them, provides them support. And it's called what? It's the same, but they have someone who already provides them that support. If I have some stones in my garden, I have some stones and they're good and you come here to sell me that you're going you're gonna tell me that you're gonna organize the stones that I have so you're gonna have a nice pathway. So perhaps I will tell you, okay, okay, but it's still stone, so it's still there. And you explain to me, no, because it's gonna be better because this and that. But there's still stones that I already have them. When we sell facility management, we have to understand that the greatest barrier that we have that we are selling is something that organizations already have. Less professionalized, yes, they don't uh, potentialize the benefits, but they already have it. But we need to overcome a barrier of what I sell to you, what I offer to you, what I think you could do for the people could benefit uh, your company and this, this and that. But probably that, in, uh, that the, um, person could have something else in his head. And covering those support activities, they have already those activities there. They already have them. So that's the first big barrier we have to overcome. And the second thing is, many of the aspects of the areas that we deal with in facility management are there in other aspects in the business areas. And we need to know to differentiate them. What's real estate? Real estate is the uh, real estate activity it being able to get some yields from selling from an asset with a certain value. So that's real estate. And there's some real estate companies, and what do we do? They commercialize, they buy, sell, rent, lease, uh, facilities. Uh, what does have to do with FM? A facility manager is there to provide support to the organization. That organization probably has a number of buildings which would depend on what the uh, organization is devoted to. If it's retail, they'll have a lot of stores. If it's bigger, they'll have other type of uh, facility. They may have offices, campuses, they have logistics points. Those buildings, they need a special attention. They need someone to take care of them. If they are rented or leased, they would not need a lot of love. So, but if they're owned by the organization, they will need more loving and more care. So that real estate activity is not itself real estate because the objective of real estate is to benefit from that. Commercialization, um, real estate activity, but the real estate uh, from um, facility management is called corporate because we're talking about corporate real estate. So buildings uh, that my organization has and that they need for their activity, I need to manage them the best way possible. So, so if my organization and client is the owner of those um, uh, states, I have to devote more activities. So if it's, re it's on the releasing format, of course, uh, they need less activity, but if then I may have to check different contracts. So that would require also a level of resources available. When we talk about real estate, we need to make a difference between what is real estate, a company, real estate companies, investment, and what is corporate real estate. Corporate real estate is one of the things that we could do with our stones. You, you may not see it, yes, but I know that you could do that and it is necessary to do it because in a greater or lesser measure organizations have a number of uh, facilities and constructions. You could tell them, hey, this is facility management. You've got to make them aware of this. These, you have these there. So who does that? Who makes that? Okay, they're finance management. What if I do it? Do you think if I do it, we're going to generate some synergies and going to uh, to contribute with value, add value. So the organization decides if we want to allocate or not these competences or needs to the Department of Real Estate. 
but they need to know that we, with that stone, we could be able to reach that. We talk about asset management, AM. This is asset management. When we talk about asset management, we, we have a similar situation to real estate. Uh, okay, the asset management of the organizations with the company defines how they're going to manage their trains, uh, whatever it is, you name it. When we talk about asset management within facility management, we're talking about those assets which the organization has and that needs to, in order to get that support. So the facility management is never going to manage the, the trains from a railroad uh, company, but they may manage the equipment or uh, that are associated to the constructions and buildings. That asset management, that control of life cycle, which is what we associate, would be different. And the organization needs the in greater or lesser level that someone, someone to take care of that. And we need to tell the organization, okay, hey, listen, buy this for me. I could take care of this. I could uh, contribute value, add value if you give me these uh, responsibilities, but if you don't assign it to me, if you don't know, you don't even know that you could even give it to me, it's going to be difficult. When we talk about asset management, we talk about asset management related to um, real estate assets who, who which have needs to support the organization. We talk about project management. Not all companies have projects. That's true, but many of them, they have parts of projects. When those projects are uh, in charge of making, delivering, there is a dissociation between the person who makes the project and the works and the one who receives it and who exploits it and operates it. So that divergence that we have there requires a lot of effort. We align them. You tell them, okay, when you have a management of a project, let me help you with my perception of the organization, how being responsible so that this would be functional all the time. When we talk about project management, we don't want to continue saying project management theories or integrated project management theories. No, that theory is fine, but we forget about that because that sometimes that forgets that a FM department has as the main objective to support the organization. Project management has to finish a project. Regardless, it has three 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 arms that, that push everything, which is cost, the time, and the quality. So the three are similar. When you when you are a project manager within a facility management department, your main objective is to support the organization making projects. And you cannot forget that your main objective is to provide support to the organization. If you are executing a uh, performing a project, you have to see how your organization is receiving that what you are doing. Okay, you accept it, you don't accept it, you, you complain, you don't complain. You have to tell the organization, okay, buy it from me, buy it from me. Uh, the doing, I will take care of the performance of these projects. Don't give me something today and tell me, okay, take care of this. No, what is this? So you take care of that, but who has asked for this? What's the need that we're co uncovering here? Who has defined this? What's the cost? What's the cost of maintenance? How long is it going to last? And so on. A pretty key aspect that we have recognizing as partners to facility management. Okay, so we have the workplace. So the workplace the environment of work, the working spaces, is, act is an activity which is associated to facility management. In the lesser mature markets in FM, we have had three great uh, habilitators of uh, FM developers. One, the existence of foreign companies who have their facility manager and who are asking for an activity of facility management. These companies, international companies, have offices in cities, in markets which are not uh, pretty advanced, but they need a supplier of facility services, and they need to understand that the market needs to cover and meet their needs. And they have been habilitators of this. The second have been the financing 
projects, pri from the private sector. These private sector financing projects, they need uh, management models to 25 years, 25, 20, 25, 30 years, where you have to guarantee the level of service that you have. And needing that type of partners makes disciplines from F uh, FM to demand from those competences and expertise. The most advanced FM markets, Holland, England, and they have those examples, and they could allow to have those models because the FM capacity is so big that they could assure and guarantee the level of service you're going to get in 25 years. And the third habilitator has been in architecture. The companies have been aware that they need to change spaces, uh, the way of working they're changing. Each square meter has a pretty high cost, and you need to take advantage of that. And those new ways of thinking, new ways of working, that come from the, from the facility management methodology of thinking in the needs, solutions, are other of the habilitators of the facility management. We talk about working environments, so we need to think that it's important, but it's part of the facility management discipline. We've always done that. There's always, we always have one, someone who is purchasing chairs and tables, but the way you define needs is changing. The way those suppliers that we have uh, could yeah, contribute with the solution. I mean, the way you do it is changing, and that's what we have to work with that. When we tell the organization, let me take care of this. No, no, well, we have someone in charge already. No, no, the thing is that when that person disappears, the person who is with the need, the person who needs to solve the problem is me. I'm telling the organization, let me see what are the needs that you have and how we could coordinate. A key, a more recognizable, more recognized aspect is the sustainability and energy issues. It's very important. Each time we are more aware of the e so sustainable impact that at activities from people have from the time we get up until the time we go to bed. But in the offices, in the working centers, they say we spend nearly 30% of our time, of our life. Our facility management and facility management they have the awareness and responsibility of reducing that impact or at least communicate to people that in their activities they need to have that awareness, which is of sustainability, which we, which are used in facility management with the um, uh, environmental impact with water, power, energy, and so on. Companies are starting to understand that that uh, energetic consumption, which is necessary and required, we need to use it. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, live without power, electric power. From the time we get up to the time we go to bed, we use uh, electricity. But we cannot misuse it because each kilowatt that we consume pollutes, contaminates. Each kilowatt that we use, and our grandchildren, I don't know where they're going to be living or how they're going to be living. So, this uh, awareness is used in relation of the activity of the organization with power uh, related issues. It's facility management. I tell the companies, Buy it from me. Let me take care of this because it's related to many aspects. Because it is related to the use of space, the use of uh, life cycle of assets, the kind of uh, construction or facilities we're going to be moving in. So these are transversal elements, cutting edge mo uh, uh, aspects which af affect the activity. And finally, we're talking about facility services. Services. Services, okay, that's an ugly word, right? So those facilities, services is something that I, I like to change, facility management and facilities, services, different. Those services are what traditionally, and we've always, without any doubt, we always associate to the facility management. All the polls and surveys, all the exercises that we have done, any countries that we've worked with, it, they relate facility management with services. So I ask you a question at the university forum. How many of you associate uh, services with something that's strategic? No one. How many of you understand that the project management is a service? How many of you understand that life cycle of assets is a service? How many of you understand that the activities of corporate real estate are a service? And you say, no, David, no. We're not, we're not buying that. So these are the needs that the organization has. 
the your needs that the organization has. When I am selling FM, I'm telling you, okay, you have these needs, buy them from me. Let me be in charge of that. I am your stone, I am your facility management, but let me construct. Let me construct something for you that could provide you good service. So again, we have service, okay, okay, and they cover the needs. And we separate the concept of facility services with FM. It's a very important part, yes, but it's not the only part of it. Services is what we traditionally have associated and related to facility management, but it's not so. Look at the scheme that we have. All those are needs that organizations have, and I need to cover them, and I need to integrate them, and, I and they need to be part of a common com model. And when those needs are integrated, it's when you we I will construct whatever you want. I, we, we may have a nice bridge, beautiful bridge, but tell me everything you need. Look, I just don't want to be a, a paper equip or something. Let those stones that are there construct, build something different. When we talk about facility management, we talk about selling facility management, we need to tell organizations that that stone that they have isolated there, sand, could cover many needs, but you have to explain to me the needs you want me to cover. And with the basics, basic tools that I have, with basic methodology, I could construct something that's solid, something that will last many years. And that construction would lead you to see that stone that you kick in the street as something that's necessary, something that's going to give you support, something necessary, something that I've seen on, on the floor and it has no value, but it becomes that bridge that you cross every day, and that without it you could not cross. It's a need. It's a, uh, you need it. It's so it's necessary. When we sell facility management, we need to find, tell the organizations that many of their needs, we could cover them. The facility manager needs to have that knowledge. We, as facility managers, need to understand that all this, all these areas, all these competences are part of the FM, and we need to be able to offer them to the organization. So we are the first who we need to sell the organization the capacity that we have. And in order to do that, we need to train ourselves, listen, see what other professionals are doing, see other models. Thank you very much.